family guys March 9th 2023 so there I got a call from an older lady um, she got an oil boiler hasn't been serviced in five years she's complaining about it um, it's coming on running a little bit and then shutting off Turn right on State Road. so I told her that might be you know working off and on on a high limit maybe she got a bad circulator there or something I'm not sure but a lot of times, you know, these people will start listening to the boiler. They never listened to it before, and they, they think it's not working right, and it's probably working fine. But I'll have to go by and see. Obviously, it needs a service. It hasn't been serviced in five years. But that's not good. Not for an oil burner. One and a quarter miles. Turn right on Tucker Road. But anyway, I'm going to go over there, and I'll see if she can figure out what she's talking about. I said a lot of times people they don't really pay attention the way the boiler works and then all of a sudden they're in there and they hear it shutting off and not coming on and shutting off and coming on uh, I might just be cycling off on a high limit which is a 15 degree differential um, if she's in there at the right point when it's off on high limit and then running you know uh, the zone the zone would come back cold and the temperature would drop to 15 and it fire back up don't take much to heat it up 15 degrees with an oil burner that might be what the scenario is she's not complaining about no heat she's just complaining about she don't think it's working right so hopefully I can get some shots when I'm over there yeah okay Yeah, hear it firing up and then shutting off. Oh yeah, I've been hearing it. So that's what it's been doing. That's what it's been doing. Like it's like yeah, it's definitely an issue. We got the thermostat turned up. It's almost like it might be starving for oil. It's been a while since you had a service, right? Right. Uh, the guy came because there was a lot of things that like, came from the chimney, so I had a, a cap put on. But that was the last time he was here. And yeah, I could hear I could hear it coming on and off, on and off, on and off. About oil. I mean, I get. Well, no, oil needs to be serviced every year because it can get blocked. So I got to start with the cleaning, start with the oil filter. I see. Right? I start see. with the nozzle okay. and then find out what's going on, why, why it's doing this, because it's definitely not right. Okay. You said it's been five years, right? Well, I say five years. Yeah, five uh, years. Where's the oil tank? Way down there. Yeah, yeah so we're going to start with that. Okay. We're going to start. We got a good oil flow, change this filter. And, uh, you know, change the nozzle in there, get that up and working, and then find out what's going on. So this is one of those that you read from upstairs. You like it? Did I read from upstairs? You could read this from upstairs. Yeah, I don't use all You don't use it, no. Um, okay. Like I said, that probably came with a new system or whatever. Or, or maybe with, I don't know, mass save was here, so. We'll do that. We'll start with the filter. We'll get a good oil flow and, um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Change the nozzle and then see what's going on. I'll have to check it with my meter. It might, it might be this control's bad or uh, could be anything, right? Uh -huh. We'll figure it out for you. Can't have it like that. No. guys that want all these contracts they, they want that so if they ever sell the business they could sell the customers I see I think that's a lot of them will say that that's a long time five years Ooh. well it's been what three years since the pandemic started and I know I haven't had anybody in here or anything like that so 
Oh yeah. But that was a regular That's thing. definitely that's definitely all blocked. Look at it on the top there. See all that muck? That's blocked. Yeah. That's a big reason. I don't know if you can see it, but you see them? Look at how blocked it is. See it? Uh, oh. Can you see all that muck on the yes, top of I that do. thing? I do. Yeah, that's not good. I'll show you what it should look like. Do okay. these holes, see these holes on the top? Yeah. Look at it. It's blocked. Can you see that? Oh, yes. I don't know if you can see it with the way it is, but no, see, no, I can see how it's all blocked? See, it's all see blocked. how mucky it is? Yeah, you Look can't even see the holes. Right. So that's probably what our problem is. Okay. We'll put a new filter in. Okay. And, uh, no, I was good with the other system. I just want to let you know. They came every look at it, year. look at it. I'm trying not to be... Yeah. See all the muck on the top? That's yeah. totally muck. Got it. And now they just come out with this new biodiesel stuff, which makes things even worse. Look at all the muck coming out of there. Okay. Yes. They got this new biodiesel now. That's their. Uh, <laughs> they're trying to. They're trying to put all this. Uh, reinvent. Reinvent the wheel here. You know the government how they screw things up, right? Yeah. Got a good thing going and they screw it up. Ain't that the well, truth? Well, is it better for the environment or what's the why? Why they do that? Well, they did the same thing with the gas. They put this ethanol in there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And they're doing the same thing with the diesel fuel now. So what's happening is it's getting all mucky, getting all slimy and stuff. It never was like that before. Before I could go four or five years without changing the filter and the thing was clean. Uh -huh. Now, six months, the thing's blocked. Wow. Yeah. Wow was right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get a good flow down the other end. I'll check the we get a good flow happening, and uh, I bet you that's what our problem is. Yeah, because it, it, it felt like, you know, it sounded like it was starving. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and I'm surprised, I mean? I'm surprised it wasn't tripping out on safety. Ah. You called the right guy for the job. Well... I have to tell you that uh, it was um, the, the oil delivery service that recommended, um, well, you were one of three. And when I went on your website, I just want to say that you've got a great website because that convinced me. Oh, the website convinced you? Yes. That's good. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that because uh, it's very clear. It tells you your experience, how long you've been in business. You know, it just did a good job there. Yeah, it makes a difference. So you do change the you do change the batteries in the thermostat. Yes, we do. Every do. six months or so. Um, when it when it starts when it starts when it starts going dull, uh, you you notice it, right? When it starts going wet, excuse me. Well, what, what, what's, what's the indicator for you to change it? I mean... Uh, just on a schedule, just with the uh, other batteries, and, you know, we kind of do that all at once. Okay. You know, smoke alarm, uh, you know, carbon monoxide, all of that stuff. Yeah. But you say six months? Six months, you know, a year, they're going to need to be changed. Okay, well, this yeah. control's got a crack in it. I want to show you. It'd probably be okay. But you see, see it's got a, see it's got a crack in it? See the control? Oh, okay, so how did that happen? I have no idea. I mean, I just noticed that. It's got, I'm, it's got I'm a... just saying nobody, you know, touched it since they installed everything. Right, well, it might have been like that from the get-go. Let's, let's, get let's get a good oil flow, okay. okay, and then we'll change the nozzle, and then we'll try it and see if it runs. As long as it's running okay, we can leave it. I okay. mean, what did you call that? That's the, the main operating control for, for, the, for the burner. Main operating control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have them in the truck. I mean, if it, it was kind of uh, uh, running weird that it would fire and then, then not fire and then not trip out. It was kind of odd. And it's supposed, to, it's supposed to trip out on safety if it's not firing. It should trip out on reset. This is the reset right here and it's not, which was a little odd. 
Oh, that would be like in my other system, there was a red button that I pressed. Yeah, this is the, the red buttons right here. That's it. That's, That's it. it on this system. That's it. But you can see it's got, it's a, it's a small crack. It might not be anything. I mean. Okay. I just want you to be aware of it. Yes, yes. If there's an issue, then if you can replace it, replace it. It's all okay. I want to feel safe here. That's the main thing. All right. So you notice the outside, the outside chimney is uh, giving you issues. Yes, it is, and um, I don't like to hear that that can happen again. Well, the problem is, like I said, it's a, it's a cold chimney. Outside is always cold in the winter time. Yeah. Um, the only time it gets heated up is when you run the burner, right? So Ooh, yeah. it's always, always best to have an inside chimney. Yeah. But that's not what you have here, unfortunately. Now, keeping that door closed, um, what if it builds up? Uh, There's not much you can do about it. You just have to run it. I mean, you're getting, you're getting that, um, that stuff, that stuff that's building up. That's the, that's the, um, the hot air is condensating it when it goes up, and it's, it's making crystals. There's not much you can do about it. Okay, but I won't have that major mess that I had here. You, you know, full of that stuff. It's still gonna, it's still gonna do the same thing. Um, it's still gonna, them crystals and stuff is happening from it's the happening chimney right because now. what's happening is when it's cold out, you're getting the, yeah. the fumes are going up the chimney. It's yeah. an outside chimney. It's cold, and uh, the fumes. If it was, a, if it was a warm chimney inside the house, the fumes yeah. would go right up. What's happening when the fume, the hot fumes go into the cold chimney, they're condensating and making that, making them crusties. Okay, but will I get that big flow like I did? That was one time thing. Uh, it just came out by itself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. One time thing. It was probably building up for a while. Oh yeah, you know? and then when they put in the new system, it all came flowing out. Yeah, but you do have a chimney cap I do that now. might stop some rain from, you know, coming down okay. and flushing it out. Okay. It's, it's possible. So I'm going to run it. We're going to get a good flow here. Yeah. And uh, I, left air, I left air in the unit on the other end. So let's see if we can get this thing to flow good. Well, a lot of people don't know about the outside chimney. They're, they're, not, they're not the greatest. I got the control jumped out here so we could run it. Let's see. Well, like I said, with, with the other system on um, 40-some years, I never had a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was... Yeah, you can see we're getting a good oil flow here now. Let me take a look. I'm going to get... It's, it's the air, there's the air in it that I left in it. Once I get the air out... I left air in the container, so we're, we're giving it a good flush. And uh, once the air comes out out of the container, we'll know what. Uh, here it comes. Here comes the air now. And we know we got a good flow of oil. We know the screen's good because I'm getting a good flow here.
the one that I have now is strictly delivery. Right. And that might have made a difference that I could nah, have about the service. Nah, it's not now. Somebody gave me this tool and it's basically for, uh, somebody gave me this tool and it's got all the different adapters for this burner, which is kind of cool. It is. <laughs> Good invention there. She's got some cob. Look at the head. Look how dirty. See how dirty the head is? Yes. See it? I do. That's not good. You can't let it go five years, okay? No good. You're gonna if you if you let it go five years like that, you're gonna have problems. No, that won't happen again. Yeah. You should have it serviced once a year. Right. Especially now with this biodiesel stuff they got out coming out now. Yeah, I, I, I'll definitely be giving you a call yeah. mm. at this time. Because what could happen is, I mean, I always tell people, say say uh, you get into a snowstorm or something, and, you know, you lose heat, um, something like this happens, and you can't get anybody for, you know, a day or so because of the storm, then right. you're going to have a problem. Right. You need to stay up on it. Gas, you can get by with not doing it all the time. Oil, no. Yeah. See how that's getting all black? Yeah. See the end of the filter, how it's getting all black? Yes. Oh, good. This is what it should look like. Okay. See the difference? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So you're really kind of pushing it. You push, you push your limits. Yeah. Point. Point fifty. Wow, that's small. Point fifty, sixty degrees. That is a small, small nozzle. So he's got in there. Yeah, that's the, that's what it calls for. Point fifty. That's the smallest one. You like being retirement, huh? You like the retirement. Yeah. Well, I was a stay-at-home mom for many years. Oh, okay. So I got used to it. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I went back to work. Went to school. Got my degree and then went to have Well, that was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
we'll see how it runs now. What are you thinking? I bet you it runs pretty good. We're going to find <laughs> out right now. priority so we could the low limit would be off and our economize is off we want that off and our high limits at 110 so right now it's 100 110 degree water temperature in there till it heats up we'll be fine yeah we like a hot water in the <laughs> well you got the storage tank there which is nice right No filter red tank, no nozzle, good oil flow, good draft over fire. Let me see, it was, was definitely full. The top of that thing has got holes in it, it was blocked. Uh, yeah. You can see I moved it around a little bit, but she's still pretty, pretty gnarly. And we got the door closed in the back there. You can tell it's been running clean, it's not all not crazy bad. You've got enough, plenty of hot water. Oh, yes, yes. Said come out of the chimney? Yes, that was, um, actually it overflowed here, down here too, but, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. 